wait one second before I begin. Make sure I am recording. Okay, I should be recording now. Hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. Hello and welcome... Oh, yeah, it's back, kinda. Hello and welcome to a new beginning in a Fallout New Vegas series. As we're restarting our Fallout New Vegas series. I've been wanting to restart it for a while. I just got done deleting a lot of uh, saves. Hopefully the screen Here isn't wait. too wonky. How about that? I, I do see you know, all of the black bars on the right side. Whoa, of the easy down. there, easy. Make sure I am. You've been out cold oh, a there, couple Doc of days Mitchell's now. Mitchell's been a long time. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Okay. Let's we we'll just go with our name. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc hmm. Mitchell. I Welcome think to Good a little bit of the screen now, is cut I off, you don't so mind, I might have to but fix I have that. To go rooting around there and you're so apologies if you can't of see the left out. side of the screen. I, I take can't pride see in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Okay, so we're gonna go the opposite of what we picked last time. Uh, you know, the African American, you know, race that you can be, they don't do a really good job on it. Huh? Seems like they just gave the person, you know, a bit of a tan of the original, you know, Caucasian character that they picked, or the, you know, default, and then look. You know, just darken the skin a little bit. Or light in certain areas. Huh. So it looks like, oh yeah, it's different. Uh, let's see. But I guess they were in a rush because... Didn't they get like 8 months to make this game? So you can't really blame them. No, we're not picking Hispanic. Uh, let's see, you can pick presets. Uh, I think I just clicked the slider. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What kind of character are we going with? Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Wait, is there only. Nope. Let's see what randomizes. Nah. Preset 10. Not that bad, I would say. Yo, I don't know what it is, but they don't do jaws that good. Eh, let's see. Okay, we're already there. That to do. Okay. Oh, that's wideness of the head. I think that's pretty reasonable. You don't want to have a squashed head. Huh? Uh, let's see. I don't think you can change the hair once you're done. Kinda looks like a uh, 1950s over here. I guess that's what the game is, a 1950s you know, style, because that's what Fallout is based on. Looks like I just had a bad hair day or something. Barber didn't shave all the way. Uh, let's see. Kinda looks like military style. That seems a little bit, you know, not that good. Kinda looks like uh, Valkyries, you know, the, from North mythology. We're not going to school. Shaved. Baldness. Bald. Little devil. Seductress. 
don't really give you that many hairs to, well they do give you a lot but uh, maybe blast back I think that could work I only got Sarge yeah that is a that's like a military that seems like they just combed over your hair buzz cut ah. blast back that's reasonable Let's see. You know, there's not many long hair cells, are there? We could go with this, but you know, it seems too singy for the apocalypse. So we go to that. That would probably be... Well, we can pick the hair colour, right? Do we want it super red? Yes, we found the last hair dye in the apocalypse. Isn't that kind of weird, huh? That some of the characters in Fallout New Vegas actually have to call it dyed hair. There's somebody with purple hair. I know that for sure. Oh, that kind of looks nice. Can we have full blue hair over here? No, we can have purple. The purple is not that bad. They did a pretty okay job with the colouring. And it looks like, you know, bright. But the thing is, it looks like they just took PNGs and just slapped it over, you know, a different look of hair. Uh, let's see. Add a bit more red on there. Hmm. Okay, that seems, you know, reasonable. We don't want it too bright. Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. What? No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Oh, thank you. I will loot your house now Good. and take all your belongings. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Eh. Uh. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. We on it's speed running time so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. I get my second. Learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. <laughs> We're just stealing stuff while he's talking. Us. Eh, I don't really need that. Scrap metal. We might need that for Eddie later on. I know you can get like most of the stuff for Eddie somewhere around here. Uh, I don't actually have a light, so I can't really see that well. Medics. Paperweight. Our uh, repair skill is not high enough for that. It is a pretty nice weapon to have, just in case you need it to work, you know, early on. Reading glass, but I will take that. Eh, uh, let's see. Yo, for somebody who does a lot of y'all, you know, did, did we get wheeled in and then he carried us to this bed? We can't even sleep in the bed no more. We're no longer classed as a patient. Eh, uh, let's see. Well, while he's over there, I might as well just explore the house. Hmm. A knife, that could be useful. A to take all. Yeah, I do. Wait, can I fix that now or is it display? Nah, I can't actually fix that then now. Uh, can I change the color of this? What other colours are there? Green? We could go for the old throwback to Fallout 3 there. Oh wait, that's actually pretty cool. I really enjoy that. Oh, I just picked up trash. Uh, the only way that we're able to access our items. Can't 
actually access trash. I think I picked, yeah, trash, did pick up some trash. We don't need the needles. Cram? I will take some cram. You never know when you're gonna need some of that. Check of the food. Yay. When you're in Doc Mitchell's house, you have to look for a pack of cigarettes over here. Now you're probably wondering, why take some packs of cigarettes? Well, it's not for us, obviously. You can't smoke in this game. No real point of having it because, you know, you would die in the apocalypse straight away. You know how long that's been sitting there for? Yeast is useless. You can't actually drop it. Eh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Wasteland omelette. Omelette. Eh, uh, let's see. So the reason why we picked up some, eh. Uh, I need some of breakfast for cleaner, don't I? Later on. He can actually drink his toilet. He actually did a good job on fixing his toilet. Pork and beans, sugar bombs. Yeah, that should do. Uh, let's see. Yes, I know I need to do that, and I also need to fix my screen at some point. Is it me, or...? I don't actually know. I need to center it a bit more. I think that's a problem. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, maybe add one into strength or something. How am I supposed to do this? Oh. No, I don't want to add any. Ah, I can just use that. That. Perception, that's pretty good. Endurance. Probably, that's probably the best way to actually set this, uh... Yep, that's what's done. We have to go, go to the end. It's weird that you have to use the arrows for this. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Yes. See if your dogs are still barking. Yo, didn't they make a remaster? Well, well not a remaster. All right. There's this more I'm going to say a word. Well, I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. And their cat. So, there's this mod in Fallout 4 that is a... Uh, Somebody is remastering Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4 with uh, Project House. Mojave, I think it's called. It's a pretty good idea, huh? Shelter. Night. Campfire. Enemy. Light. Dark. Mother. Okay, I take off. Okay. Yeah, now, I got a few more. statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Hmm. Hmm. Agreed. I ain't given to relying on others for support. No opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Uh, what would that give me? Agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No opinion. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. 
I would actually if I could see it properly. I don't see a broken chain. Shadow on a door frame, yeah. Okay. How about this one? Yeah, I can see the ship at sea. Last one. Oh, we can't do two bears high five and we should have got that mod. I, I have not modded Fallout New Vegas, but I would like to mod it at some point. Uh, mushroom Cloud. Well, that's. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the result. Explosive, sneak, and speech. always just level it up later but lockpick is pretty useful that's even before useful. I turn you loose I need one more thing from you I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history just a formality ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head uh, let's see hmm Fast shot. Begin five. Yeah, that seems. the best two options that we get there. Alright, I guess that about does it. Yep. Come with me, I'll see you out. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's one dirty couch. Yeah, this is quite a nice house. Oh, uh, let's see. Here, these are yours was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed. You recommend it. Hopefully it gives me an option, because I just realized... Uh, wait to go back a little bit. No. Well, I realized that I did not actually go with the wild wasteland. So hopefully I can, you know, solve that problem at some point.
Talk to Sunny Smiles. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Thank you. So, meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. Finally, we get a gun. Well, we already have a gun. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Hard crouching, nice shot. Well, that's a start, but I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Reload. I only got a bit of ammunition over here. Yeah, I do really enjoy Fallout New Vegas. It's a quite nice game. Shit, Rick. Victor right now. Almost called him Richter there. Victor. Uh, let's see. And also there is no, you know, running, except this is your maximum speed. We're actually pretty good at running. At least we are no longer Captain Price. The last time that we played we looked like Captain Price. Uh, let's see. Can that dog die or something? So, you know, need to protect it. Stay safe, doggy. You're a cute dog. Uh, let's see. I think we can get a dog, but it can only be... What do you call it? A certain one. Also used for the early, uh, you know, drinkable item. Uh, let's see. Drink up. Best I can get. Now let's go uh, stop a uh, certain person over here dying. There it is. Perfect. Yeah, I know there's a person over here who's gonna get hurt and then die but don't help them. Okay, just reload. We don't have much durability on this uh, gun. I think you can repair guns with duct tape, I think. We're doing pretty good. Sunny didn't even come uh, any close to that area. See? You're getting. There's two more wells. Sure, I come. We must protect the person.
Yes, yes, I know how to work bats. Okay, good swing, Settler. Oh. You okay, Settler? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Oh, thank you. I'll see. I will collect some of the stuff from these uh, creatures uh, that it is useful for money later on. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Thank One more you. thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Couldn't hurt. Alright then. Bring those on back to me. Now we must go to Good springs once again. Uh, I'll see. I will fix the screen next episode. But I think we've you know been pretty good so far. I even created a thumbnail. That's not the best, but you know it's still you know okay. I would say the thumbnail I created. Uh, let's see. It took a while to make it though. Uh, let's see. Oh, misfire. Didn't mean to fire. My mouse just got stuck under my keyboard there for a second. Almost annihilated uh, Victor over there with one shot. Yeah, I should really get a companion. I don't know why it's so hit hard to hit a fly around here. I'm the worst shot around here. There we go. Okay, I should have a question of the day. Hmm. If you had to pick a apocalypse movie or a game, what would you pick? I would probably pick you know, like Fallout or something. If you know you're skilled enough, you can easily what do you call it? Just talk your way through the entire game. Well, most of the game. Twenty-two LR. Uh, let's see, one of these graves our 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 grave also. Uh, let's see. That got stuck there. Oh, that is a bullseye right in the air there. Did you see that? That was one accurate shot there. That's where we got dug up. Don't know why it looks so, you know, squared. Take two of them just in case. Nah, not really an item, keep out. Uh, we're looking for Zan, well not Zan. Some kind of slower there is. 
And this will teach us how to make like healing powder, so at least that's something useful. Then we head over to school. Go back to Sonny Smith. You know, I never used to be able to do this quest because I could not figure out what to do. Over like nine or eight times that I played through the game. I just never completed this quest because it was that hard. The reason why it was so hard is because I, I played on the Xbox 360 first, I played on the PS3 and I still, you know, could not get advantage but it would be, I think, the last time that we played this that I finally were able to, you know, actually complete it. Yeah, let's see. We could also do that uh, quest with that guy Ringo. So that's also another thing that we could also do. Yeah, you know, with all the good spring people, they could have just took over the school and made it a school. You know, you don't really see that in the apocalypse and I teach kids, you know, stuff. Useful stuff. Prepare them for the apocalypse. Uh, let's see. Well, it's apocalypse, but prepare them to go out on their own. Take that. Take that. Take that. Uh, You know, I want to change up my weapons. This weapon is absolutely trash. I do actually have a lot of weapons on me. 10 mil, 13 damage, 7 damage. Does more damage. It looks like we're our, you know, pistol that we'll be going with is probably going to be the 10 millimeter. Cherry bomb, ah, uh, cherry bombs aren't useful. I thought it was a food for the longest time, but it's not actually. Uh, look at that miscellaneous. And I probably just shove this down there. Okay, uh, that's just a cup, uh, a magazine down there. Uh, Okay, so we continue. Ow, that, that's loud there. Uh, we continue on. Grab a bottle cap. Uh, nothing there. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. A bottle cap in there. Programmer. I need a hack skill of higher. That is the easiest safe I've ever. Taken. That is a pretty good safe. I think I used to use one of these uh, lockers for stashing items once until it deleted all my items. And I was so sad. It was also the PC version that I'm playing in now that, that happened on. I used to play PC version a lot of New Vegas. It's kind of like a superior version. A cola truck. Uh, let's see. So I'm looking for a certain item. What does I need? Ah, it's outside, I remember. It's not actually inside. It's outside. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, it's disease. Xander fruit. Okay. Now we can head back to Sunny, but we did not unlock. No, wait, we did unlock the fast travel point. Luckily. Uh, let's see. There's Sunny Smiles at the campfire. Let me see what you got. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Hey. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay. Healing powder. Hey, that's not bad, see? All yeah. it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Thank you. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. 
You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. Well, I think that is where we're going to be ending today's episode. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. Have a nice day, safe, up to the apple. Maybe even tomorrow, I just need to keep up the vitamins. Very, very important. And bye-bye. See you next time. Have a nice day. See you. Bye-bye.